God, I should have done this inside. Well, what's up, you guys? <laughs> it's a mess out here, okay? It's a mess right now. Um, I have pink hair for the week. That's not even the most exciting, strange thing that's going on. I'm trying to get the sun to work with me here. Hello? Um, but today, oh my God, I can't even believe I'm saying this. I'm getting a leopard gecko. So I got the tank all set up, and I'm not gonna go over everything that you absolutely need. Because I feel like, I'm just trying not to be petty, I'm trying not to say what you should have and shouldn't have and whatever, but all I know is, I don't have to stand in the cage because I heard that can like impact them and create less kind of problems. I do have a cow cricket, which isn't the best, but I went to the shop before I changed it to anything else. Um, and yeah, I pretty much everything I bought is way too large for the cage, so it's pretty cool. Which should be arriving this morning at about 10.30 in the morning. It's pretty early right now, it's my mom's birthday, so I'm like up, jazzed, ready to go the makeup on to be filming and to like sign the little paper the guy gives me because lord knows I'm not gonna see him without a full face of makeup because that's just me um so I did this I'm so ADD right now I did this color depositing shampoo just to see what I look like with a different color and I chose rose gold and then it was like way too dark people are walking by this is fun I am a vlogger he um it was way too dark so I washed it out with some dandruff shampoo. <laughs> Sounds gross, but now it's like really light pink and I really like it. So hopefully you can hear me with this wind or else I'm gonna have to freaking narrate this with a voiceover. I'm talking so fast because I'm really nervous and I'm gonna get inside, hopefully show you the tank and then little Gek will be here. He is a super snow um, leopard gecko. I don't know if he's anything else, but all I know is that we should move there's people watching me do this and I'm anti-social. <laughs> I feel like I never get to like do things like this that are super exciting and I don't know, something that I'm really, really <sighs> been waiting so long to do and it's finally here. So yeah, today's the day, baby. And um, I have his little, it's basically with leopard geckos. Let me just run through what they should be doing. My toaster shield is getting cold, but it's fine. Number one, they say you should have two to three hides. The first hide is for warmth. The second hide is for a cold kind of hide. Not cold, but like something that's not hot. And then when they shed, you're going to be putting them in a moist hide. I've got all of that set up and it's about 85 degrees in there right now on one of the sides. And I had to make makeshift food and water bowls with some of my like business supplies literally because everything was too freaking big and i don't even know how big this lizard's gonna be so that's gonna be fun but in other news since it is a super snow it is black and white splotched so i'm deciding whether i should name it echo or moo let me know what you think but i'm probably gonna name it before you even tell me <laughs> time to get the toaster strudel <laughs> okay you guys i'm gonna show you the setup don't judge it because it's definitely not even near close to being done but I wanted something that you know it's coming today <laughs> I want it to feel a little comfortable here we go to the cage <laughs> oh my god my children are in the other room hey kiddos she hates the camera hi honey bunny whoa <laughs> hey bunny hi mr. bun so cute. So right now I have my fish in kind of like a bucket, whatever you want to call it, which again is fine for them. They traveled here literally in bags, so I'm treating them very well. But until their cage comes today, I put them in the bucket last night so I could have the tank prepped for the lizard. So this is them chilling. <laughs> and they're eating their food. Da -da -da -da! His little tanky and I have so much freaking crap that I have to put in here But it wouldn't fit because it's a 10 gallon right now, but we have his thermometer set up So right now it's 88. I don't know how it got like that. So we're gonna put it down a little bit um, But anyways, so this is his hot hide here. It's got some moss in the back for when he's shedding I like to wet that um, it is a male, by the way, so it is going to be on the larger side. I gave him some crystals here, and I'm doing my best to keep down the humidity because that's supposed to be best for them. This is our little makeshift water bowl <laughs> at the moment, and then his food's going to be going in here. And for those who don't know, it's probably best to feed your leopard gecko 
um, fresh food. So that means live bugs. Obviously, they are not plant eaters. This is his cool hide. It's a coconut shell, and I just am obsessed. This is the kind of like the reptile carpet that I don't know if I'm going to continue to use yet. But um, they also are nocturnal animals, so they like to be in caves most of the time. So I just have this like switchable setting. My room's already pretty bright, you know? Our little reptile friends here are known to have bone density issues and calcium problems. So this is their calcium powder that you put on their like crickets and mealworms and stuff. And this is my little catcher because <laughs> I hate bugs. <laughs> <clears throat> As you can see, it's not the same day. I look busted, um, I have my lashes put together and no face makeup on, so you know I've been through it. There's a glare on this lens, perfect. Okay, I guess I'll just put you on the window, cause why not? Do I have a story for you? <laughs> so as you can see, I'm going through it, my skin's a mess. My next MS had an allergic reaction to dairy. That was last night. That's other news. But as for the lizard, the lizard, ooh, the lizard, motherfucking lizard. You wanna know what happened? He arrived. Okay? He arrived. I opened the box. I'm FaceTiming my sister. I'm really excited at this point. And my boyfriend's next to me. I'm like, this is the best day ever. I open it and I'm like, oh, baby oh you're so cute you know now i notice i'm like his eyes are open like he's not even blinking he's not even whatever and everyone's like oh like that happens you know they can look dead on arrival they're not they're not they're just like you know a little nervous or whatever so i open the top and i'm like looking at my boyfriend and my sister and i'm like he's dead and they're like no he's not you're fine i'm like he's dead and he smells like shit <laughs> to say the least not even to be like that but dead animals <clears throat> to say the least he was dead <laughs> i'm laughing now but mind you i was sobbing the whole day and the days after this happened close to a week ago at this point and you know what because I want to be truthful about this whole process, I'm not even going to say the name of this place I got it from. They had great reviews, okay? And mind you, I'm just going to I'm just going to throw it out there. I am still getting the lizard. That's why I'm talking to you today. He's supposed to come today. Basically, I'm not going to say the name, but what they had told me was this is a very rare occurrence, okay? It was beautiful weather out when he was, you know, shipped. And before anybody says anything like, well, you shipping an animal and so do what? This is how pet stores get animals, okay? This is how animals ship. You know, people don't go out and catch wild animals, really, normally. So this is how they get shipped to pet stores and stuff like that. It's completely comfortable. It is safe. They have air. They have heat or cool. Whatever it is they need, it's all in there. I promise you, I would not do anything that was harmful to the animal. I promise. So... Now that that's covered, basically they had told me that this is like very rare occurrence, whatever, and I did all of my research, I researched this place, and only the positive reviews came up. So I'm like very, very confused about that, but it looked amazing from everything, from their YouTube, from their Facebook, from their like Yelp reviews, from everything, it looked fabulous. And I start texting or emailing this woman who, you know, she was okay, she was nice, she was customer service, one of their representatives, which is, you know, and she, like, kind of doesn't believe me that this lizard's dead. I'm like, what I really wanted to say is, like, bitch, I know what a dead lizard looks like, all right? Like, he's got discoloration on his stomach, he fucking smells, <laughs> his eyes are open, like, I did everything I could to warm him up because that's what they told me to do but for reference you're not really supposed to ever soak a lizard it's not really great for them okay and i don't know if this was their like one time idea but they told me to like let him chill at room temp for a little bit and then soak him in a little bath i'm like i don't think you're supposed to do that um with this specific lizard so i let him you know adjust and then put him on his heat mat dead as a doornail, <laughs> dead. And 
so that happened <laughs> I don't know what else to say about her she just like didn't believe me she made me grab the lizard that was already deteriorating flip it over on the box and like send her the shipping label with it to confirm that he was dead and so she could like refund me and whatever I don't know I just think it's pretty weird like I already sent you a picture in the beginning I don't want to be touching this again it makes me very upset and very sad and although you claim he was shipped you know not sick or not whatever like there's clearly something happening so anyways you're probably gonna ask me why did you try to do this again and it's because specifically um, I was told that this was a fluke for research and other people out there not only do I want this lizard but I want to see if this was a fluke or if this is just something they're selling like dead lizards sick lizards because that was some of the blocked um, comments that I had seen from other people on different platforms that they are blocking out the negative reviews on their specific social media so people can't see them which is very shady and if they are selling sick animals or dead animals there's a problem with that and we should uh, uncover that so I gave it one more shot and He's arriving at 10.30 again. Uh, as you saw in the clips before, I was very excited. So now, I ain't doing that anymore. I'm not getting excited. I mean, I'm excited, but I'm not getting excited. We ain't got any face makeup on him. <laughs> I'm over it. So, I will reach back when I have the lizard. Okay. He's here. I'm nervous. Oh my god. I think he's alive. Hi, hon. Shh, my cat. Hi, honey. This is sweet. Hi, Angel. Oh my god, you guys. I'm shaking. He's alive. Hi, honey. My goodness. <laughs> He's alive. Oh my god. I'm shaking. Um, he's alive, and I'm gonna let him rest because he's definitely very tired. If you guys could hear my heart right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. That's all I care about. Let's go see if he wants to go in his home. I think I'm gonna get him some fresh water. And he's just super happy. But thank God this worked out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a freaking journey, but I don't know that I'd order from this place ever again, but all I'm gonna say is I'm grateful that he's alive. <sighs> okay, see you guys next video. Thanks for watching!